Have I been taking crazy pills these past couple of weeks, or am I just confused on this? Because I'm still convinced Julio Jones is a good NFL player, and I'm surprised that so many other people are having that question. I mean, Julio Jones last year was on pace for, if he had 850 snaps, which he typically would in his career, he would have had 1,400 yards exactly. He only had about 450, so... Uh, he's still really good, and for Julio Jones, a 1,400-yard season is an like it's an, an okay year for him because that's how good he is. Let's jump into the film study. Let's talk about how good he is because I'm telling you, I mean, Julio Jones is incredible, and quite frankly, he's one of those players that his you know film studies to me always feel like highlight reel <laughs> plays. Like any play worth talking about, it's just going to be one of those like jaw dropping. How does he do that type of thing? He's that talented. So on this play, it's going to be zone coverage. It's a cover three, so they're going to play a little bit further off. But I really want to talk about how far off the corner is going to choose to play. Because you can choose to play, you know, however far off you want to. But what's really interesting about uh, this is going to be how far off he does play. I mean, watch, right when this play starts, you see how Julio, I mean, look at how much space there is in between the corner and Julio Jones. They're 10 yards past the line of scrimmage and the defensive back is still five yards further deep than Julio so that kind of to me shows a lot you know it's basically the same as how far apart the safety is from the player over the middle so you're getting that kind of respect and just open stuff up as you see Jones then stops I mean gets wide open and again is that the most impressive Julio Jones play you'll see no but it goes to show how much he's feared among other teams and uh, you know basically it just opened up like a free a free 20 yard gain because they don't want to get burned deep and then there's stuff like this so what's going to happen here is that this is going to again be zone coverage we're going to get into some man in a second but right now it's zone and it's a deep route against quarters coverage but worth mentioning the defensive back who's all the way closest to the offense is left towards the sideline there uh, he's going to be moving in with the other uh, Atlanta receiver who's going to be running a different route. So Jones is running a deep route. It's essentially a one-on-one -on -one matchup. And usually, given how far off a safety is going to play, it's going to be difficult to beat him deep. However, J Julio Jones is just a different kind of animal to try and cover. Watch how Jones, watch this route running. I mean, watch how he you know, makes that great move. That's just insane. He gets wide open. He's going to, even despite kind of a lower throw, still makes the grab. I mean, that's just incredible, right? And it's not fair that someone who moves like Julio Jones at his size can also be that good of a route runner. He is that sort of, if he was built in a lab, uh, you know, it's like he was built in a lab to play football. Although, fun fact, Julio Jones, the same height as Steph Curry. Kind of goes to show the differences in those two sports height-wise. But anyways, next play. Like something like this. It's a cover two zone. You see the route that Julio is running. So again, is this a difficult route to get open? Typically not. But is it difficult to get open as often as Julio gets open on these routes? I would absolutely say yes, because he's always open in this kind of situation watch just I just want you, to, want you to see his explosiveness how quick he is and then how well he cuts notice those two things I mean watch as you see incredibly explosive and then cuts over the middle wide open I mean that's the guy who teams are saying yeah maybe I'll give a second round pick for but I don't know that seems a bit high that's crazy to me you should trade for Julio Jones give him give up a first round pick I don't care I mean the Dallas Cowboys gave up a first round pick for Amari Cooper Julio Jones is better than Amari Cooper there is a risk factor with Julio Jones just given that he is a little bit older you know what else has a risk factor a draft pick draft picks are one of the riskiest things that you have for a team like Baltimore, I keep saying Baltimore makes the most sense. Baltimore, that instantly puts them at, in potentially the best uh, team in the league. Team like Baltimore, Kansas City, even as I've heard has some uh, talk about it, New England, like Green Bay. Some Green Bay fans are saying like, oh, I don't know if I want to get mortgage the future for Julio Jones. My mindset is, you know what? You can figure out what you'll do in the future when you're at the championship parade because that's a Super Bowl winning team if they have Julio. And I realize some of these teams, it's tough to make the money work, but a $15 million cap hit for Jones is totally worth it, and they can work some stuff around, and I believe it would only be $11 million the next two years, so, and I, 
Again, I could be wrong, but I think that's not guaranteed. It's a little bit difficult to tell because it would be a new contract then, but I believe you could cut him at any point if you trade for him, so there's that value. Now let's talk about this play. Let's get into some man coverage, why don't we? It's cover two man, so, you know, everything deep probably won't get open. Really, what's going to be great about this is going up against Marshawn Lattimore, very good corner, and what's going to be incredible with Jones is just going to be, he's going to cut to the inside, and watch how Lattimore just is desperately trying to keep up this whole play. I mean, watch. Jones quickly to the inside, and Lattimore is just screwed at this point. How do you keep up with that? Jones is just faster than you. He has that good first step. And oh, by the way, he has an insane catch radius. So it makes things so easy for a quarterback. That's like you can sit here and say, eh, Lattimore not really doing his job. What's Lattimore supposed to do there? And you would almost think Lattimore is the kind of guy who is uniquely built to at least have a chance against the Julio Jones. I think that's partially why they even went out and drafted Lattimore. Lattimore ran a 4-3-6 40-yard dash. He's six feet tall, and he looks like a scrub next to Julio Jones because Jones is just that fantastic. Like one more, we'll talk about this one. So again, this is a great example of just how silly he can make you look. It's that First step, his first step is always incredible, and watch what he does this time. As you see, fakes as though he's going in a little bit, then gets to the outside, and immediately, uh, this is trouble for Detroit. I mean, you're trying to catch up to Julio Jones. That's never gonna. That's never a good sign right there, so you're already in trouble, just desperately trying to see if you can get anywhere close. But again, we talk about how explosive his cuts are as well. I mean, watch how Jones then cuts to the inside, and it's just wide open. The only reason that wasn't a touchdown is because uh, Ryan didn't hit him right when he got open. That would have been had it been like perfectly timed. It, Julio wasn't Ryan's first read. I'm not blaming Ryan, but that, again, just goes to show the talent level we're working with here with Julio Jones. He's dominant. I mean, I do think that in re-watching this tape, I'm like, oh, yeah, he kind of still is the best wide receiver in football, isn't he? You know, I like... Uh, DeAndre Hopkins a lot. I uh, like Tyreek Hill a lot, but it still might be Julio Jones. And if you can get him for a second round pick, like that just seems like a no brainer to me, especially when we talk about how receivers are way more important than people realize. Receivers are, that's a money ball thing. Go out and get good receivers. They matter more than I think a lot of people realize. So obviously if you're a rebuilding team, like I don't think you need to go out and get Julio Jones. But uh, again, like you know, Green Bay, you got a center with your second round pick this year who's, you know, maybe is good, maybe not. Who knows? Well, guess what? Julio Jones would turn you into a championship contender, probably win you a Super Bowl. You'd easily be number one in the power rankings, I think, if you made that move. And again, I get it. You'd have to figure out a way to make the money work. But you know what? At the same time, a lot of teams can figure out a way to make the money work. So, uh, you know, I don't really have a huge issue with it. I think that Julio Jones is, he's an incredible talent. Again, I know, hot take, what a scorcher. I love to give my hot takes. Julio Jones is really good. Uh, I'd say give up a first. It, I mean, maybe not if you're, okay, going to be the worst team in football. But again, a late first round pick, what would you rather have? That or Julio Jones potentially in his prime? And I think for Atlanta, don't give him up for just a second round pick. If that's all you can get, don't give him up. I, I think he's really good. I, I, again, I guess I guess that's controversial. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.